This is Bruce Jansen reporting from the American Heart Association meeting in Orlando. I'm speaking with Dr. Samuel Goldhaber of Harvard Medical School who's just presented the results of the nearly 7,000 patient ADOPT trial. Dr. Goldhaber, uh, what's the scope of the problem of, of uh, venous thromboembolism in acutely medical Ill patients uh, after they've been discharged from the hospital? Well, just to put the problem in perspective, pulmonary embolism is responsible from between 100,000 and 180,000 deaths per year in the United States alone. And the Surgeon General has declared that pulmonary embolism is the number one preventable cause of death among hospitalized patients. Now, each year in the United States, there are about 8 million patients who are hospitalized on medical services who are at moderate or high risk of deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. And we have good therapies available to prevent DVT and pulmonary embolism in the hospital, but the unmet need is what happens to these patients once they're discharged because they're at at least the same, if not greater risk, of succumbing to DVT or pulmonary embolism. How does uh, ADOPT pave the way for future studies in this area? Well, what we know from the ADOPT trial, I think its greatest contribution is it sets up really a new light toward a pathway to really solve the problem of DVT and pulmonary embolism in medically ill patients after they're discharged by first of all eliminating in trials a ultrasound examination just to look for asymptomatic disease and to really focus on patients who develop symptomatic deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism in a much more simplified, uh, streamlined type of future trial. How long do you think uh, future trials ought to uh, utilize oral therapy? Well, I think that oral therapy uh, to prevent DVT and pulmonary embolism is the way of the future. Uh, I think patients as outpatients are going to be more adherent and compliant to pills than they would be to self-injections of anticoagulant drugs. So oral therapy couldn't be continued for, for months. Well, what we saw in ADOPT is that the difference between those receiving apixaban, the oral anticoagulant, and placebo got greater and greater over the time after hospital discharge. So you're right, uh, 30 days, 40 days, 50 days, 60 days of therapy uh, might optimize the prevention of DVT or pulmonary embolism. Thanks very much. For more, visit ecardiologynews.com. This is Bruce Jansen.